everyone, it's Carly here back with another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Ilia Chromatic Eye Tint in the shade Fresco. I picked this up a while ago and I feel like everyone talked about these when they first launched and then no one has really spoken about them since. And I don't know if that means that they are really well received or if people aren't really liking them. So I wanted to give you my thoughts today on this product. Okay, I believe there are eight shades in the range, so lots of different pretty colors to choose from. I chose the shade Fresco, which is described as a taupe brown with silver pearl, which I would 100% agree that's what it is. Um, in like the mass tone, it looks very neutral, but then when you start to blend it out and build it up, I feel like it starts to look more cool tone because of those silver reflex. Um, but as it stands like with a light layer and as you can see in the component, it looks very like a neutral taupe brown, which I really love. Those are like my favorite eyeshadow colors, so I was really excited that this was in the range. Um, and I feel like this color could actually look really flattering on almost all skin tones. It is a bit darker than I anticipated, which you'll see in the swatch. Um, so I do think if you have like lighter, like very pale skin, this might not be your best choice because it could look a bit harsh um, unless you like that look to each their own. Uh, but I think that it is darker than I thought it was going to be. So if you have really light skin, you might not love this tone. Okay, the first thing I noticed um, since I've been wearing this product for um, like a month now is that it dries really quickly, so you definitely have to work one eye at a time. This is not a liquid shadow that is really emollient and takes forever to dry down and is really like dewy. This definitely dries down and it almost dries down like a semi-matte, so you definitely have to do one eye at a time, which I actually like because I'm not one to do like both eyes at the same time anyway, actually. Even like shadows that are really emollient, like cream pot shadows, I've always done one eye at a time. Um, but if you like doing both eyes at a time, just wanted to call that out that this product cannot be done that way. And my favorite way to apply is it's a nice paddle applicator. So I just lay it down two swipes on each eye, um, one eye at a time, as I said. And then I'll start to like do the patting motion where I use my pointer finger and pat in the product um, on my eyelid and just get it sort of like blended out gently with my finger. And then I go in with any sort of synthetic brush. It can be, um, I'm using a more like flat brush here, but you can use a big fluffy crease brush and just blend out the crease. And then at the same time, I'm also using the brush to sort of pat down the product on my eye so that it kind of like gets rid of any excess product or like clumps that are on the eyeball um, and just really smooths that out and then at the same time blending upward to make sure the crease looks really blended. And I actually find that this method is really easy and I don't have any issues blending out or having an unblended look at the end. Um, I did read some reviews on Sephora that people thought these were a bit difficult to work with, but I have not had that experience. I actually feel like it's really easy to work with even though it's pretty pigmented upon impact. I've definitely tried other cream or liquid shadows that are more sheer. This is not sheer. I'd say this is pretty opaque um, with one to two swipes. So just wanted to point that out. If you like more sheer eye products, I don't think this is for you. There is a gold shade in the range that um, would maybe work, but it's pretty opaque, which I really love. As I mentioned, this really dries to a more satin matte finish, which I don't think a lot of people would suspect because um, it's labeled as a sort of like shimmery eyeshadow. There's really not a lot of pearl in here. It's not like a high metallic, like those Stila shadows. It dries down to like a satin matte where you can see like little, um, little pearl flecks in it, but I feel like the actual base tone of the product is what you see most on the eye, which I love because I prefer matte shadows. So I actually feel like this is sort of like, almost like a matte shadow with like some shimmer in it, but it's not like a shimmer shadow that looks a little matte, if that makes sense. Um, so this is like my perfect finish on an eyeshadow and it lasts so long on my eyelids, which are oily. And I have never found a liquid shadow that doesn't crease. Um, they just all do not last on my eyes, which is fine. I still love using them, but this one lasts all day and the oils don't come through. It doesn't crease. I'm so, so, so impressed with the wear time on these. Um, yeah, I want more shades. Like I think that the wear time is amazing. So overall, I really like how easy these are to use. I love the shade range. I think there are so many beautiful shades in the range. 
Um, I love how long these last. I love the finish. I just really love everything about this shadow. And I can only speak to the shade Fresco, but I really want to pick up some other shades because I'm just such a big fan. Um, I also think you could really use these to do like winged liner because they dry down so nicely and they don't budge. I, I don't really do that, but if that's your thing, I think that these would be really nice for that. Um, yeah, I really love this product. It's one of my favorite Ilya products and I hope you guys have tried them and like them too. Let me know down below because I'm curious because I haven't really heard much about them.